Hi, my name is Laura Dolman and I'm a marine biologist who studies sea ice algae to help better understand their important role that they play in the Arctic ecosystem. When you think of Arctic marine food web, you likely picture seals, polar bears, and other charismatic species. However, ice algae are the bottom of the food chain that feed all the species that you think of. They inhabit the bottom of the sea ice, as shown in this video, by the algal aggregates that you see at the bottom of the ice that kind of look like beards. Not all ice algae form these beard-like aggregates. If you've ever been ice fishing and augered through the ice and brown stuff has come up, that is ice algae. Ice algae have two main requirements for growth. They need light from above for photosynthesis, which you can see that there is enough light since it is not dark below the ice, and nutrients from the underlying water column. The bottom of the ice provides them with access to both of these once the sun returns. I'll now show you how we sample for algae. First, I measure snow depth. Then we auger about three quarters of the way through the ice because I'm interested in where the algae mainly grow. We use a core barrel to get an ice core for analysis. Here's a close up of what I do with the cores. I cut the bottom five centimeters, which is usually where the algae are concentrated and place them in bags or jugs to melt once I get back to the lab. I usually need more than six bottom cores from each site. So we continue until we get everything we need. The really important thing to remember is that ice algae may be small, but they are a crucial part of the ecosystem and often overlooked. Thanks for listening to me talk about something I love to study.